Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Reality Roundup podcast. Happy New Year. Yeah, it's 2020. And remember when we were nervous last week that we weren't going to have anything to talk about for this podcast? Oh boy, do we have Um, something to talk about. We forgot that The Circle was dropping four episodes on New Year's Day. So, yeah. I guess they gave us something to talk about. Yeah, we were watching Netflix for a long time yesterday. We're going to be talking about about Circle. Circle. Uh, We will be messaging the group chat. But first, (laughs) we are talking about Below Deck. Yes. Uh, Project Runway is on tonight, so it's going to be on next week's podcast. Mm -hmm. The top of the list for next week's podcast. Top of the list. (laughs) I'm excited for that to come back because I've I've missed it this past week. I have too. I'm really um, getting emotionally invested mm-hmm. in all of these designers. Me too. That I don't want to see them have to throw a lobster in anybody's lap at um, <laughs> Red Lobster. Ah, Tim and Andre will always love them. It's just fashion. Lighten up. I know. But let's talk about Below Deck. Okay. This is episode 13, and Tensions are running high. Are running out of episodes. Yeah. (laughs) We were left on a cliffhanger last week. It was the one where Kate storms off at 3.41 a.m. 3.41 a.m. She she left. she says, you know what? Find yourself another chief stew. (sighs) Yeah. Nobody seemed too concerned about this. I don't think that she was wrong in leaving and removing herself from the situation, especially because Ashton is so, like, unpredictable and punching uh, van windows. Yeah, so... Drunk? I don't blame her for doing that, but I do think that she should have left Captain Lee a note or something. Absolutely. Especially since you're in a city that you don't really know that well. It's the middle of the night. You're a woman alone. That's pretty dangerous, but... I don't know. Uh, but maybe... Captain Lee is her friend outside of the show, and she shouldn't have left him in a lurch like that. Well, I don't... Without a chief stew. I mean, they're not. it's not during a charter. I don't think that was a problem at all, because didn't they still have, like, a whole another day before I know, but there I, were more guests? I really guests? feel like she should have at least given him a heads up. I think on a friend level, yes, and like, yeah, a, hey, I'm okay, level. I'm alive. Right. But I don't think it was, like, a work concern. Right. In my opinion. Maybe you guys feel differently. I don't know. Well, maybe if she had gotten back a little bit sooner, but... Ashton is being very dickish this season since he got bosun. Yeah. I feel um, like he's taken a lot of liberties with that position. Remember how on Below Deck Med, uh, Joao moved up from Mm -hmm. deckhand to bosun, and, like, his first season he was kind of bleh, but then his second season... He really settled in. And he matured. He matured. But Ashton... No. He's a turd. Yeah. <laughs> He's not ma turd. He's a turd. He's a stripper turd. Yeah. Uh, all right. So <laughs> he goes and says to Captain Lee, oh, shit, I should, like, take some proactive action here and tell Captain Lee, because if he finds out before I tell him uh, that he had something to do with it. I'm going to be even more screwed than I already am. But I'm not really, am I? Because I don't even remember what happened. So he's telling Captain Lee this, like, BS, not full version of the story. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kate said something about my family. (laughs) Which wasn't even meant to be an insult or anything. No. Just much like the Yachty comment of last episode. Mm Mm-hmm. She didn't mean it as derogatory, but uh, Brian took it that way. This uh, Ashton thing just feels a lot like toxic masculinity, right? Yep. Yeah. I think uh, it's jealousy also. I think there is a certain degree of that, of course. I feel like uh, Ashton... We talked about this last week, right? I feel like Ashton is very jealous of uh, Captain Lee and Kate's um, relationship outside of the show, Mm -hmm. and... Every little uh, thing is like someone taking a hammer and hitting him in on his wiener. Yeah. I, th- I think so. Yeah. So anyway, uh, Captain Lee's a little bit worried because he's trying to call Kate. She's not answering. He doesn't know what's going on here. Yeah. Kevin is like, woo, she's gone. We don't need a chief stew. What do we need that for? I'll just uh, oh, I don't know. my own food. Maybe to like save your ass when you mess up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 
So um, Kate eventually does return. She comes back. And uh, Captain Lee said, don't let it happen again. He was pretty upset that she didn't give him a heads up. More for her safety than anything, right. I think. I, I do think that she should have told him what was up. And yeah. it's difficult, too, because he didn't get the full story of what happened. And I thought I saw on Twitter that now that he's seeing the episode, he's like, okay, yeah, she did the right thing in removing herself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And he he thinks that Ashton is a dick. Oh, yeah. Major, majorly. You guys, if you're not following Captain Lee and Kate on Twitter, what are you even doing? I know, right? Ugh. Even what? off season when the show's not on, yes. they are fire on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, so Ashton apologizes to Kate, mm-hmm. even though he doesn't mean it. <laughs> Do you even mean it? No, you don't. Because how can anybody be sorry for something that they didn't even realize? He doesn't even know what he did. did. He can't even remember it. It's ridiculous. I think. Uh, Drinking is a problem this season. For a lot of, a lot of, a lot of Bravo in general. Yeah, yeah. (coughs) Bless you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I hope I didn't just blow out the microphone. (laughs) I'm sure, that little baby sneeze, I don't think so. All right, so uh, it's a new charter. Mm -hmm. And this is one that they hadn't had before. Okay. It's not returning people, but there is a chef. In the charter. There is a chef in the charter, Kevin. Oh, boy. Wake up. You are on notice. She put her fingers on her eyes and then put them on yours and said, I'm watching you. You know. I'm watching you, Kevin. threatened by this. Majorly. Majorly threatened here. Yeah. And there's also a little bitch on this charter who demanded to have her own room. Does she think there are unlimited amount of rooms on this freaking boat? This no. is not <laughs> the re- a Riyadh at, in Marrakesh. This is the Riyadh, not the Plaza <laughs> Hotel. Um, yeah, I think she was being pretty unreasonable here. This was the, yeah. the primary guest cousin, I want to say. Jamie. Yeah, and she was like, um, I can't share a full-size bed with someone else, okay? Like, no. No. I can't, you cannot take up a whole room for yourself like that. No. What did she expect was going to happen? I don't know. So this other poor girl was like, okay, I'll sleep in, what is it, the Sky Lounge? The Sky Lounge. Which is basically like a common area living room I'll type room. I'll sleep right wherever, thanks. The Why Sky Lounge looks pretty legit. This bitch? But... I would have been like, uh, sorry, bitch, if you want your own room, you go sleep in the Sky Lounge. Yeah, if you, okay, if you're like demanding your own sleeping space, yeah. you should be the one saying, like you said, yeah. I'm going to go stay in the Sky Lounge. Exactly. But no. No, she, ugh, I could see why she's single. (laughs) Let's just say that. Well, I could see why the other charter guests the whole time were just like, ugh, why is she here? She sucks. Who invited her? Ugh, did you have to? Ouch. (laughs) Yeah. All right, so. um, Kevin's messing up already. (laughs) Two guests requested no cheese. It says it right on their preference sheets. So what is Kevin plan? Pizza. A, a freaking pizza party with no specialty pizzas. Kevin, what are you doing? And when they're like, oh, um, we don't want uh, cheese pizzas. Their pizza's coming out without cheese. He's all angry about it. Dude, it's on the preference sheet. Who it's would not eat like this it was without some surprise. cheese? Maybe you shouldn't have made it, Kevin. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> Kevin F- yeah, Kevin effed up and then said they suck. It's like the classic um, girl who denies a guy and then they're like, whoa, you're Not ugly. Not even hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it sucks because, like, I enjoy Kevin's personality at times, like, when he's being all goofy. Yeah. But then I don't understand the hate that he has for Kate and then he just seems like a kind of a whiny baby a lot of the time and that really bums me out. I think he's just so immature. I guess. I think Kevin really needs to grow up a little bit. Uh, or a lot. So Ashton is lusting after one of the guests. Oh my god. Can I hose you off with some fresh water? It doesn't hurt that her ass is hanging out the entire... I mean, it doesn't help that her ass is hanging out the entire time. <sighs> Whatevs. It's time for Masquerade. Okay. Masquerade! On parade, asses out. No! (laughs) So Kevin is trying to do better with the preference sheets. Is he, though? Well, he's making them their matzo ball soup, which sounds delicious. 
uh, lobster, the rainbow cookies. Oh, those rainbow cookies we used to eat all the time. Yeah. At Grady and Gramps' house. Um, I'm sorry. I don't remember matzo ball soup being like a um, delicacy, you know, like a um, upscale. Well, I mean, if that's something meal, they requested, I did could they see it. request it? Didn't they? I just assumed that they did. At the at the masquerade party? I would have made that for like a lunch or something. Yeah, I don't know. But at the masquerade party, you're rolling out matzo ball soup? I mean, or as you say, matzo ball soup? <laughs> yeah, he didn't really seem to know what it was. I could see the lobster and the rainbow cookies, sure. But like matzo ball well, soup? you know what? Is that my slipper or your foot oh it's my slipper um you know what <laughs> i don't want to touch feet no thank you <laughs> you know what kevin did not prepare a birthday cake oh! for two of the guests again it was in the preference sheet i mean one of them was jamie but <laughs> <laughs> come on so again kate had to save his ass light some absinthe on fire Where'd they have the absinthe hiding? <laughs> was that like under her bunk or something? I don't know. Oh, let me whip up some absinthe here. That shit is serious, though. It's like moonshine. Was that, a, what was it like that we were watching? Degrassi? Quasi-legal moonshine. Degrassi, where the teacher was like, hey, you guys want to come over and have some absinthe? <laughs> but, um, And then let me molest you? <laughs> but, Mr. Teacher, this feels inappropriate. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> not to make light of anything no, like that. Absolutely but not. It you was know how Degrassi wrong. is. It goes there. <laughs> uh, all right. So everyone hates Jamie. Yep. The girl on the sofa is complaining. She's crying on Captain Lee's shoulder. Mm. I have no privacy. I'm sleeping on a sofa. And Captain Lee says, We cannot let this happen. Yeah. And he gives up his room for her. That's so nice. That's such a Captain Lee move. He's just the best. You know what a real, what I was going to say a real captain, not that Captain Lee's not a real captain, but like a bitchy captain would have done. A bitchy captain would have um, made a couple of crew members sleep in the Sky Lounge and then mm. taken over one of the. Um, yeah, but the crew rooms are not luxurious. They're like not the luxurious, but at least they have some privacy. Captain Lee had to move all of his stuff out of there. His guitar. He had his guitar in there. <laughs> That was a very classy move, Captain Lee. Very classy. Bravo. Hats off. Watch what happens. But he did call Jamie a little twit. He did. Well, he He's calls not it wrong, like he sees right? it. Yeah. He's not wrong. All right. So uh, one of the other things on the preference sheets uh, was a fishing trip the next morning. So Ashton was like, oh, uh, Riley, you're going to do this <laughs> Because <laughs> he effed up last year. Well, that wasn't him. That was somebody else. Oh, okay. The other... They underutilized Riley last season. Right. And uh, so he like she's a fisherman. Yes, and he puts this all on her. He's like, "You plan this. This is your thing." Blah blah blah. But I mean, you've got to help out somewhat here. Alaskan fishing is completely different from Taiwanese than Thai... fishing. Yeah. Come on. Uh, so Riley plans the trip, I suppose. And it turns out that they were fishing in restricted waters. There was no Ooh, boats anywhere. Yeah. That should have been the number one uh, tip off to Ashton. And besides, you are uh, above her in rank. Mm -hmm. Why would you not? Um, this is on you. Yeah. Why would you not like follow up with that and make sure that she was doing everything on the up and up? Mm -hmm. It's still, you know, you're signing off on it. So it's on you. Yeah. Not that she wasn't wrong, you know, maybe mm -hmm. she should have done more research, but to always be passing the book. Yeah. You suck. Well, then Ashton went and he told Captain Lee, uh, Riley messed this up. It wasn't my fault. Mm -hmm. She should have done more research. And Kate was in there on her computer like, <laughs> and she hears this and she's like, oh, no. She makes a little comment. Mm-hmm. Basically implying, like, hey, uh, you're the one who effed up here. Stop yeah. trying to make it seem like it was all Riley's fault. Mm -hmm. And Captain Lee was also like, mm-hmm. Well, you know who's next to bend over and take it? Kevin. <laughs> yeah, he... He's still sucking with the food. He's disappointing the guests because they um, were having breakfast. They mm -hmm. said it was too salty, like, way too salty. Mm -hmm. So they are complaining about that. Yep. And then the snarky chef girl pulls Kevin aside, and she's like, hey, um, chef to chef. I want to say something. You should probably go a little more upscale for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Because everyone's She's not talking. wrong. She's not wrong. 
Damn. I mean, we've had issues with uh, chefs on these shows in the past where they just weren't cooking up snuff. And when you're paying thousands and thousands of dollars, you want good food. <laughs> I do think that she was, you know. I would say the food is at least 70% of the tip. Come on. Yeah. But I do think that she's on her high horse here and like holding it over him, being like, oh, chef to chef, blah, 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 blah. Like, you know, I, there's a way to do things and there's a way to not do things. And I feel like she's really. I think she's doing it in the funnest way possible. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that Kevin doesn't deserve a little, like, poke, but still. Yeah. yeah. All right. So um, I hope Kevin can pull it together because uh, I want to see these people get their money's worth. Do you? I do. Maybe some of them and some not, not as much. <laughs> All right. So that brings us to the end of the episode. And next week's going to be cray. It's going to be cray. <laughs> <laughs> Ashton hooks up. With the sexy guest. Oh, boy. And it's Ashton versus Riley. I, I feel like every week it's Ashton versus somebody else. I know, but, like, doesn't he tell on her to Captain Lee again or something? Ah. Do you think Captain Lee's going to fire her? Yes. I'd love to see him fire Ashton, but I feel like that's not going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I think Riley might be done. I don't know. I don't know. I, I hope somebody gets fired. <laughs> it's well, a show. Come we'll on. We'll see. It's a show. We'll see. All right. All right. Here we go. <gasps> the circle. So I remember right after BB21 ended, everybody was like, oh, my God, are you watching The Circle UK? Are you watching it? Are you watching it? Are you watching it? Everybody was obsessing over it. Mm -hmm. But we just could not. And I didn't – we didn't not watch it because we didn't think it was going to be good. Right. We just, we just literally could too not. Much. Too much. Too much. Uh, we were so burnt out from BB21. We needed a break. Um, that being said, we are now ready to enter the circle US which is on Netflix. So we are probably going to go yes. back and watch the UK season eventually. Um we don't want to watch it right now cuz we don't want to get everybody confused. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we will watch it eventually, but plus we're right in the middle of Veganuary now. Yeah, it's with, just we're at the beginning of Veganuary let's with Let's spread uh, things out so we can enjoy sport. everything. Right? <sighs> This is good. This is fun. I have fun. to say, this is good. I'm having a good time I'm having so a good far. time with this because it's similar to Big Brother, but, but it's, it's also like Big Brother light. different. Yeah. It's it's highly edited down. Mm -hmm. There are no feeds. And it's... It's nice um, to just, like, enjoy it. It's tasty little tidbits. Mm -hmm. And it's fun. All right. Well, let's talk about this format. All right. The whole premise here is that uh, the circle is the Big Brother... Uh, commonality between all these people they communicate through the social media app the circle they're all living in the same apartment building they never see each other yeah they're all in separate apartments and kind the only of. way that they can communicate <laughs> mm -hmm. is via these like text chats right and uh like insta profiles right yeah so, so the prize for this i'm not sure the timeline of, like, how often people are eliminated. or I think it's basically once a day. Is it really? I, I don't know. So. Or how so. long the show actually lasts in real time. But I believe they're going to be releasing four episodes a week for three weeks for a total mm -hmm. of 12. Right. And the... I think they wrap it basically in two weeks. Maybe. I, I think... don't know. Yeah. The prize is $100,000, which is pretty good for, like, a new reality show and Not it's on, on Netflix, Netflix yeah, it's and internet only yeah so. and apparently it doesn't last that long no. so all right so like we said they never see each other um so because of that but they do but we'll get there yeah but because of that you can create any kind of profile you want you, you can, can be, be yourself fish or you could be a catfish. You could be a girl if you're a guy. Or you could be a guy if you're a girl. Or, or you, you could be a different guy or girl than yourself. Right. Or you could um, be a different um, sexual preference than you are. Anything. Yeah. Sky's the limit, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about the first eight people that have entered the circle. Okay. <laughs> first, Samantha, a.k.a. Sammy. She's 24 years old. Let me I say like, most of the people on the show are in their 20s. Okay. I feel like Sammy really keeps it real. I like Sammy a lot. Uh, I guess she's uh, bi. Mm-hmm. 
girl. I love that from she Miami. works with children on the autism spectrum. Yeah. I think that that's one of the reasons that she's so, like, compassionate with people. Um, and I think that's wonderful. She's playing as herself. Mm-hmm. She's not being fake at all. Right. Yeah. And she is um, not, like, one of these model perfect types. Mm-hmm. But I don't like model perfect types. Okay. I prefer people to be people. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. So then there's... That's what I'm saying. She seems very real. Yeah. Then there's Chris. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Then there's Rebecca. <gasps> Who's not actually Rebecca? So here's our first catfish. Yeah. This is Seaburn. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's playing as his girlfriend, so he's That's using funny. his girlfriend's uh, Insta photos and yeah. profile. I guess his reasoning behind that mm-hmm. was that, like, girls get more likes, and mm-hmm. he thought he would be more approachable. I think Seaburn is so much fun. Seaburn is hilarious. He is really funny. He's such a nerd. His reactions are incredible. Yeah! Oh my god. You can tell he's having a great time. By the way, he's 26 from Boston Mm -hmm. and he's hilarious. He's he's one of my favorites. I think he needs to work on his channeling a girl thing though because... He wasn't quite on point at first. I think he... Yeah. He needs work. (laughs) I think he's he's doing better. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. And then we have Chris... 30 from Dallas. Mm-hmm. He is fabulous. He's everything. I love Chris. So much fun. He seems so familiar. Like, we've seen him on another show, could, like a design show or he something. He looks so familiar, but I cannot place him. Well, he said he was a designer. I don't know if he's, like, an interior designer or, like, sure. um, a lifestyle clothing type designer or something. But he is such a lovely queen. Mm-hmm. I love him. Ah, oh, he has the best reactions to things. He just says really fun things. He does too. say a lot of fun things. A lot of fun little sayings. And yeah. I love that he brought the photos of himself to hang up. But even more, I love that he brought his like Selena collector's mm-hmm. edition magazine. Yeah. And he has it like propped up on his couch like mm-hmm. against the wall. <laughs> it's the little things in life. Yeah. It really and is. And by the way, I must say, I love how they decorated everybody's apartments. Yeah. They did it according to what their likes are and everything. And they get well, like... Well, somewhat. Well, they get like these boxes too that, uh, you know, that's how things are delivered mm-hmm. in boxes outside their door. The, the circle lets them know. Yeah. And they got little fun toys and everything because I guess there's a lot of downtime There's here. a lot of downtime. I mean, yeah. they want everybody to talk to each other, but you can't talk to people 24-7. No. <laughs> All right, so we've got Joey up next, Mm -hmm. the most annoying person in the world from Rochester, New York. I'm sorry, but like... He's 25. The volume that he speaks at? I'm a self-professed mama's boy, and I do Ah! my skincare all the time. Ew, it sounds like him. Ew. Um, I'm sure he's a wonderful person, but it's just too much. Are you sure? I'm not sure, but I don't know. I don't know him. I don't know him. He's very shallow. He's more shallow than a puddle. He's got a crush on every girl profile. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Yeah, he does on the boys too, like a bromance situation. That's fine, but like it's a lot. It's too much. Yeah, I just, the yelling. I really hope that these apartments are like soundproof. (sighs) There's a lot of screaming going on. There's a lot of screaming. There's a lot of jumping up and down. There's a lot of. But just uh, his normal speaking volume mm -hmm. is very, very loud. Yeah, he he's very quick to jump to conclusions too, which are usually wrong. All right, and then there's Alana. She is, my name is Alana. I'm a model. I'm a full time model. Yeah, not just a model, a full time model. Yeah, twenty five from Brownsville, Texas. Okay, my thing with Alana, she was saying how she wanted everyone to accept her for who she is and whatever. She didn't want people to be thrown off by the model thing. Why do you have to say that you're a model? I wouldn't have said I was Just a model. Just say that you're some, like, make up some other profession. Like, you don't, if you want people to get to know you for who you are and not what you do, like, say that you do something else. I, yeah. That was just, like, weird. I didn't get that, but sure. She's kind of like a dirty model, too. Well, she's <laughs> like a lingerie, swimsuit model, whatever. I wouldn't call that dirty. Um, it's not like she's doing porn. She hangs out at the Playboy Mansion. Whatever, I'm not judging. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Shuby. Oh AKA my gosh. Shubom. Mm-hmm. Uh, 23 from California, a virtual reality geek. This person <laughs> is so much fun. Reality TV casting gold. Yes. This person is authentically himself. He hates social media. He thinks it's the devil. And he's never really used it. And now to see him use it is so exciting because it's like he's discovering everything for the first time. He's so pure. He's such a joy to watch. I love Shuby. Mm-hmm. Love him. He's he's quite naive, too. And I, I really appreciate that about him because it seems like everybody on this show is so conniving. He's just a good He's a good soul. guy. Yeah. He's a good guy. Um, yeah. Next up. Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I was dying every time Alana said Antonio. Antonio. <laughs> so yeah, Antonio. Circle, message Antonio. <laughs> All right, so he's 24. He is a pro basketball player. I'm sorry. Um, somewhere else. What does he do? I didn't catch that the first 50 times. I'm a pro basketball player. Oh, have you what? ever dated a pro basketball player from another country? Uh, Does he have a hoop in his kitchen? He does. <laughs> He does, and he spends a lot of time trying to get that tiny ball in the hoop. I have mixed things about Ant- Antonio because <laughs> I think he's really smart. I think he's really clever. I think he's really full of himself. I, that was, yeah. I don't know. And that really is very off-putting for me. Yeah. So he's catfishing a little bit because he was like, oh, I have a girlfriend, but I'm going to say that I'm single. Mm-hmm. She said that I could flirt with people for the game yeah. or whatever. Um, but for the most part, he's being himself here. Yeah. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. And then there's Karen. She is the catfish. She's 37 (laughs) from the Bronx. She is a... Full of sound bites. (laughs) She brought her teddy bear and her uh, her purple turtle. turtle. And they always are there when she's doing her work. Yeah. Oh, Karen. Yeah. So she is... um, She identifies as a lesbian. Okay. But she is not playing herself. No, she is playing Mercedes, who I think she said With a Z. is yeah, just some, which I think she said was her middle name. Right. But the pictures that she's using, did she say it's just like some random person she found online? Somebody she found online. So how does that work? Did they have to like find this person yeah. and ask them, "Can we use your photos on yeah. the show?" Right? And who would say no? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Come on. So she's using uh, someone else as Mercedes, mm-hmm. and. Uh, she thinks she's really sneaky, and she is. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, I think she picked a bad photo to start with because it did have so many filters on it. Mm-hmm. It seemed very, like, catfishy. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, so like, if she's she going to pretend to be obvious. that girl, she probably should have picked a little bit more of a natural photo to start with. Oh, I thought you were thinking, like, oh, well, let me pretend, you know, like... To be really filtered from the beginning, and then I'll pull back. And oh. like, no, I'm saying I thought she should have started a little more oh, natural, okay. but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That yeah. was a big thing. Could like, be. there was a lot of pressure on what picture you're going to post first. Right. Yeah, so everybody had to set up their profiles with one photo. Their relationship status. Right. A, a little, little blurb. Blurb. <laughs> I don't know anybody named Blurb. <laughs> All right, so then. They got right into it. They had to rate everybody's profile pic and blurb. Just like on the first impression. Right. Uh, a lot of people had misconceptions right from the beginning. Of which is perfectly normal and natural mm-hmm. and, you know, whatever, because you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah. I mean, and these rankings aren't just for funsies. Mm-hmm. The top two in the rankings are going to be the influencers for this round. Right. And I don't know if they told them at that point what the influencer was going to do. I don't think so. No, they didn't. All right. So there's going to be some power there, but they didn't tell them what it was. Yeah. So I thought it was funny that Alana and Mercedes both rated each other seven. Yeah, the claws were definitely coming out between the two of them. Yeah. Um, the two super pretty girls. Yeah. You know, profile pics both uh, took a dump on each other. Well, before the rankings were revealed... It's the, time for circle chat. The circle chat was open. Circle. Message group chat. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody was waiting to see who was going to jump in there and say the first message. And of course it was Chris. I'm not surprised. 
I like him. He's I a social. Too. Right. So after they had their uh, little group chat, which was pretty basic. Yeah, it was I just thought. like, oh my god, I'm, I was so Can nervous. Can you believe this? This is so cool. <laughs> it's what? crazy. The thing that weirds me out is how they just like leave the chat. Mm-hmm. Like, I I don't know. I would expect everyone to just have the chat open at all times and they can just, like, talk or whatever. But that's not how it works. No. Because that would be an editing nightmare for these people. Yeah, it probably would be, right? Yeah. So they have to have, like, a sanctioned group chat time. And I guess you can only have one chat open at a time. Right. Can you imagine... I was already, like, freaking out, like, oh, my God, what if somebody sends the wrong, like, a message into yeah. the wrong chat? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think that that's no. a possibility because I think you can only do one chat at a yeah, time. Yeah, there's, there's too much going on here. Although, maybe that's a possibility in the future that they oh. will have multiple chat windows open at a time. That would be interesting if somebody That would be up. very interesting. But, again, too much uh, for the viewer to keep, Yeah, you know, it would be confusing. It would be way too difficult. Yeah. All right, so Alana started a... <laughs> Alana. A, a girls-only chat. Okay, and she called it... Skinny, Skinny Queens. Queens. Which, okay, this is a term that's popular, like, in the drag community and right. stuff. It doesn't necessarily mean people who are thin. Right. But Sammy sees this name, and she's like, I don't like that. Like, I don't like that. And Well, because she's got body issues. Does she? I think she does. Oh, I don't know. I think she does. I don't want to assume that. But Alana was also like, oh, um, like girls that stick together, pretty girls. We're just kind of like, that's weird. Well, when I say body issues, I don't mean necessarily she herself has body issues. She doesn't want people to feel like. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like people calling them out for having, um, you know, mm-hmm. if they're a little big or, you know, whatever. Okay. And I don't blame her. I think that sucks. So or something um, like that. immediately Sammy's like, ugh, I don't like Alana. She's so concerned with, like, image and looks. Mm-hmm. And then they were talking, like, what do you think about the guys? And this was kind of funny because... Rebecca... A.K.A. Seaburn. Who's a guy, said, do you think Chris is cute? And they're all like, honey, he's gay. <laughs> Come he's on, gay. Seaburn. Come on. I mean... How could you not pick up on that as a guy, even? Yeah. So... It's not like a girl, you know, do you have no gaydar whatsoever? They were a little bit suspicious about yeah. Rebecca. As they should be. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the the uh, the guys are having a chat to hashtag bros over hoes chat. Didn't seem like there was anything really monumental happening there. No. Okay. So then the private chat started. Woo! Slide into those DMs. That's right. Rebecca decides to message uh, Shuby. Mm-hmm. And this is the beginning of an alliance. They start forming a bond here. Mm-hmm. Talking about who they think could be fake. Mercedes. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, the filters are dead They're giveaway, like you said. They're noticing the filters on the profile. Yeah. Um, so it's that, it's cute because I feel like maybe Shuby has a little crush on her. I think he does. But at the same time, it's like, no, that's Seaburn. <laughs> that is not who you're talking to. No. So then uh, they they play a little icebreaker game mm-hmm. on the Circle app. The games that they have them playing are pretty fun. I think they're very fun uh, because it's very telling. You don't mm-hmm. have a lot of time, I don't think, to respond. It's, so you're really uh, going with your gut response, which yeah, is very I mean, telling. You don't have time to think like the catfish. Oh, you know, I'm just giving my pure reaction. So mm-hmm. if I'm a guy, I would give my guy's reaction and not my girl reaction. Yeah. Rebecca. How are we going to know who pees in the shower and who doesn't? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's disgusting. <laughs> no. <laughs> they had another thing, too. I don't remember what it was, but it was it was fun. So then Joey messages alana how do i know you're real <laughs> i heard you were crushing on me Ugh. and that you really do pee in the shower this was cringe to watch this was cringe let's just say spoiler alert he has a crush on every girl every episode <laughs> he's uh stalking another girl or who he thinks is a girl i don't know all right well anyway <sighs> <laughs> Antonio was kind of flirting with Mercedes a little bit. They're kind of um, agreeing to possibly protect each other, mm-hmm. watch out for each other. Okay. Kind of. Well, anyway, it's time for the ratings to come out. Ugh. Ah! So let's not go through all of them, but no. the bottom two. Oh, 
Shabam was eighth. And Mercedes was seventh. Oh, yeah. I'm not surprised that Mercedes was in last, you know, second to last place, but I'm really surprised that Shuby was. I guess because that was before anyone was even talking. I guess. You know, it was just based on the profiles. I guess. So the top two in second place, we've got Antonio. Antonio. In first place was Sammy. Sammy. I'm not surprised that Sammy uh, no, was that, first. Yeah. I think everybody felt she was real and they liked that. Yeah. So, so those we two find are out safe. They're safe. Yeah. They're safe for this round. Oh. But they're also going to be making a big decision here. They have to decide on one player to block, which means leave the game. Ah! Wow. Whoa. They don't have a lot to go off of right now. So they were like, hey, go up to the hangout. And I was like, oh my God, are they going to see each other? Yeah. But they didn't. They didn't see each other. They it was were two in, rooms, yeah. like, facing each other, but there was a wall in between, obviously. Could they have heard each other, like, if they were loud? Maybe. Even? I don't know. Maybe they had sound machines on in there where they, like... I don't know. I'm not sure know. how that all works. That but was, it looked cool. cool. I like that pull-away shot where then you can see both of them mm-hmm. in the windows. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so they're discussing who should be blocked this week. Yeah. Everybody else was chatting while this was going on, too. And they're so. like, oh, no, 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 no. especially uh, Shubham. Shubham was, was like, um, guys, I'm going. Yeah. It was nice knowing you. Have fun in the game. And well, he was nervous because like, he was in the bottom, but that was before everyone got talking to him. I think that uh, humility on his part did a lot mm-hmm. for him in terms of people um, thinking he was genuine and liking him. So... Uh, even though it wasn't a strategy on his part, I think it was it very works. successful. Yeah. So then um, it seemed like it came down to Alana or Mercedes as the person to be blocked. Mm-hmm. But Antonio really went to bat for Mercedes and... And took a dump on Alana. Yeah. <laughs> Said, just get rid of her. Yeah. So decision time, they open up the circle group chat and they announce Alana will be blocked. Ooh, and she didn't even get to say goodbye. It was just like, Bleh, you're blocked. Get out. Yeah. Yeah. But. She will get to speak her piece, but not yeah. in the chat like that. Yeah. So that was episode one. And at the end, it was a cliffhanger because Alana gets to meet with one person. Mm-hmm. Ah! We're no skinny queens. We just had a snack. We just had to have a snack. <laughs> we are skinny queens. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, episode two picks mm-hmm. up. With the big cliffhanger, who is Alana going to go meet? Who did you think she was going to meet? I thought uh, she was going to meet uh, Mercedes. I was thinking either Joey, because they were like vibing or whatever, or one of the two influencers, mm-hmm. Antonio or Sammy. Well, you got your wish. Yeah. she went to go meet Sammy. And she was she went in hot. Yeah. She was pissed. She was like, I am who I said I am. And Sammy was like, yeah so they were talking a little bit and they picked up on the whole rebecca slash seaburn not realizing that chris is gay so mm-hmm. that was a little bit sus yeah um yeah so, so they had a little chat i think uh sammy was pretty shell-shocked i think she felt alana bad left. because she realized that alana was really who she said she was and that she was referring to her as elena yeah <laughs> Do you think she was like, my name is Alana? I don't know. Yeah, I did notice she kept calling her Elena. Yeah. All right. So time to Everyone update. got to update their status. This was like AM away messages. Right. <laughs> BRB. BBL. I thought Chris um, was a little bit Jesus-y. Well, a he said he's very religious. Mm-hmm. So he's been leaving a lot of religious messages. That could be a turnoff. I mean, it's not my my thing. But if that's what he's into, good for him. No, I'm not saying, you know, that he shouldn't be like oh, that. You're but saying I'm saying it could, like, be, yeah. it could be a turnoff. Mm-hmm. It, it hasn't been yet. I don't, I didn't notice anybody like, oh, he's he's too uh, Jesus-y. Yeah, no, I, I, just don't, noticed I don't think that anyone said that. He's the only one who's... Uh, well, no, because Mercedes was all like, God owns my soul and the devil owns my mouth. Or, I don't know, yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. That my was not a direct quote. Yeah. My vocabulary, <laughs> yeah. All right, so Chris messages Sammy. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's like, are you okay? You know, he's trying to comfort her, but also get some info. Because he thinks, mm, maybe Alana visited her last night. Let's see what's going on. And he did find out that. She did. She did. Yeah. And uh, these two are forming a very close bond. 
I think so. I thought it was hilarious when Chris said, I got to go because I got to freshen up my coochie. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> no, but um, he also was like, oh, was Alana butt-ass sad? Like, mm -hmm. he's just got all the best phrases. He does. He does. I'm a little jealous. I don't have a friend like him. I know. So, Shuby messaged Joey. Mm hmm Ugh, I don't want to see the two of them get, the, you know, like... No, Shuby, run away! Run away from Joey. He's so annoying. Shuby uh, was basically shitting himself. Joey was shitting himself. Everybody was afraid. Mm hmm Joey is really into his skincare. He is. I've never seen anybody, like you said, put on one of those charcoal masks like that. Uh, okay, when I do a mask, I put it on my fingers, and then right. I I've never seen anyone, like, and then, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like a preview of the cake decorating. Honey, I think you need to watch a few tutorials before I that. I mean, if it works for you, great, but, like, mm -hmm. what? Um, I just feel like you make less of a mess if you go to, like, two fingers instead of being, like, yeah. I don't know. That's just me. All right. Well, and Antonio messaged uh, Mercedes. Whenever Antonio speaks about his relationships with everyone, he's like, I got him right where I want him. <laughs> Says about literally everyone. Everyone. He's very confident. Yeah. Um, he tells Mercedes, you had nothing to worry about. I but had he your lets, back. I saved you. He lets her know, hey, you were in the running to go, and you're here because of me. Yeah. So she does not take this well. She didn't believe it. She was just like, mm -hmm. he's I, just trying to set me up. I think she should have maybe just been like, "Oh, you're the best. Thank you." Like, tell him what he wants to hear. Absolutely. But she wasn't really doing that. No. Um. Yeah. Well, then uh, Rebecca is checking on her relationship with Shuby. Mm -hmm. Um, trying to act more like a girl. Yeah. Trying to be more comforting to uh, Shuby. Um, definitely confirming the alliance that the two of them have together. Cute. I think this uh, alliance is built to last. I, I think love this, this is going to go to the end. I love this alliance, but then I also see Shuby getting so close to Joey, and it almost seems like he likes Joey better. And it's like, bleh. <sighs> Again, <laughs> Joey, or if any of you guys are actually watching this for some reason... Sorry. We're sorry. We're just going off of what we see on the show. Yeah. All right. So Alana gets to also leave a video message for everybody. Oh, what? In addition to visiting one person. Yeah. So when you're eliminated, you get to visit someone and you get to leave a message in the circle. Right. And it's a video message. Right. I am me. <laughs> Basically, that's all she wanted to say was you screwed up. Um, I am who I say I am. Yeah. You were wrong. I'm really curious as to how much they're allowed to screw over other people in their video messages. Like, are there any rules about, like, you're not allowed to say that this person's a catfish or whatever, like, specifically, or can you just say whatever you want? Like, you could set somebody up, even if you don't know if they're a catfish, and you're like, oh, this person, I visited them, and they are. I think that they could say... Um, pretty much whatever they want as long as they don't mention any names. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, they can not say, I visited this person and they're not who they say they are. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, because then that person could always be like, no, they didn't. So, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, you know, it's up to them, I suppose. Mm -hmm. As long as they don't, like, um, just flat out, like, call somebody out. Like, they know. could insinuate. Yeah, I mean, because we're going to get to it in a later episode. Yeah. Somebody did something like that, right. but we'll get there. Yeah, I don't think they could just call somebody out. I don't know. But everybody felt pretty bad after, you know, seeing, wow, we mm -hmm. just got rid of a real person. She right. wasn't lying about who she was. Like, this mm -hmm. is serious. This is for money. Right. So it was basically some in substance, love and light bitches, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> well, Joey was all upset because he was like, oh, she really was the, that girl and I was vibing with her. I can't believe how aggressive Joey was in his private chat with Antonio. I know! You must be feeling like a real effing dick right now. Yeah. Huh? And it didn't I, stop there. I can't believe, though, he thought that he was being playful. I think he was trying to also be an a-hole. I don't think that was all like, oh, what'd you do, you know? 
when you do not have the inflection of your voice, I mean, emojis have helped in uh, recent times with mm -hmm. uh, conveying what your feelings Tone. are. <laughs> yeah. But they still do not come anywhere near close enough to convey what you're actually feeling yeah it does it does not replace talking to a person with your voice that conversation was a mess yeah i thought it was ooh, really aggressive on they're joey's kill part each other. really aggressive so yeah now they're like Bleh. so it's time for another game ooh. this was a lot of fun Which i like uh who this oh, celebrity yes, yes, tab yes. it's celebrity taboo mm -hmm. you basically uh one at a time they give you a picture and you have to describe the celebrity to everybody else in the circle chat without actually saying their name. Right. So they had Tina Turner and they gave that one to Chris, which was great. <laughs> he was like the queen of rock and nobody got it. No. Right away. I don't know that I would have thought of her right away. Like I know that they call her that, but it wouldn't have popped into my head. Yeah. Nobody really uh, knew Meghan Markle very well, which I find very surprising. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I... <sighs> Spider-Man, I mean, I think they got that one, that one right Some away. Some of the clues, though, that people were giving were like... Ridiculous. Couldn't you give a better clue? Uh, Chris Hemsworth popped up, and I think it was it Rebecca who said, like, gorgeous blue eyes. It might have been. I can't remember. Why would you? Why would gorgeous blue eyes make you think of that? But that's a horrible clue. Miraculously, Shuby got it. Yeah, he was on a roll. <laughs> he loves Marvel, I guess. Yeah. So I guess they got enough right or whatever to win a party. Do 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 do. Everybody. How on point is the soundtrack for this? I love it. It's got like got all eighties and nineties music. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I think that song might be later, but it has that vibe. Yeah. So you, they also get to add a picture to their profile. Yeah. So they're all partying alone in their own apartments. They got a party box. With yeah. Alcohol, pizza, hats. Fun little glasses. Glasses. Yeah. So yeah, everybody had the opportunity to add another photo to their profile and there was so much thought put into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, when you think about it, it's very important. Yeah. Because that's all you have to go by. And the, and the ridiculous the chats. Yeah. Uh, circle, open up a message to, uh, <laughs> to Miranda, the new girl. Ah! There's a oh new girl! Oh my goodness, but nobody knows that yet. No. She is 26 years old. She, I feel like, is on a dating show. She's open to a relationship with a man or a woman. Okay. She's pretty cute. Yeah. She's a girl next door-ish. With a lot of tattoos. She's got a lot of tattoos. <laughs> you know what I got to say? Plur. Yeah, right? plur. She, she kind of seems like a party plur. Mm -hmm. Peace, love, unity, respect. Mm -hmm. And um, she gets to watch this party unfold, the group chat, the game that they're playing. They're playing like Never Have I Ever or whatever. Yes, yes. Um, Never Have I Ever or whatever. And <laughs> she is going to get to pick one person to have a private chat with like at an mm -hmm. after party. Right. When the chat officially closes. Which is like five minutes in real time. <laughs> and on the show I'm time. sure it's a while. Yeah. Um, Antonio and Rebecca are a little bit flirty. Mm -hmm. um, Joey has picked his next victim, and that is Sammy to flirt with. Yeah, but Sammy and Mercedes both also revealed that they are interested in girls. Mm -hmm. And that I think that kind of blew Joey's mind. Joey was like... yeah. What? <laughs> but I like her. She can't be, you know, bi or whatever. Yeah. So uh, he's going to have to pick somebody else to pick on. Well, I think Sammy is bi, isn't she? I think... She is bi. Yeah. Yeah. But he doesn't know that. Because she just said that she uh, dipped her toe into the rainbow or something like that. Mm -hmm. The rainbow pond. The rainbow and pond. And Shuby's like, what's that? <laughs> Poor Shuby. <laughs> He's so clueless. I feel like he's getting a bad education on this show. Like I, I. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with that? No, the, I, I mean that he didn't know these things before. Oh. And now he's finding them out on this show. It's, it's like when you don't talk to your kids about sex and they find out about it at school. All right. Well, anyway, that was episode <laughs> two. So now another cliffhanger. Who is Miranda going to choose to chat with? And how is everyone going to react to a new person being added to the circle? Circle, end the party now. Goodbye. All right, episode three, here we go. 
<laughs> I feel like we've been doing this for years already. I know. It's dark now. <laughs> it's nighttime. It's hours later. Circle, open group chat, episode three. Circle, uh, let Miranda choose someone to have an after party with. Well, she decided to chat more with Mercedes because she thought she was cute. Yeah, so there's like a whole flirty thing going on here. They send a goodie box to Mercedes from Miranda Mm -hmm. with some booze and a chilled glass. Which I don't think Miranda even necessarily knew about, but it felt like when, say, like a parent is about to have their second child... And they send, <laughs> they send a, a gift present to, to the, the, first, the one. first kid, and they're like, "This is from this your is new from the baby, baby sister." Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't think of that. That's <laughs> that's, that's what it felt great like. Analogy. No, because Karen, aka Mercedes, kept saying like, "Oh yeah, that's my girl. Thank you for sending that." She didn't do that. <laughs> there was some flirty chats going on there was. here. Some These real two were really flirting. Fifty Shades going on mm-hmm. here, and she said, "Oh." I've got more than 50 shades. Hashtag more than 50. (laughs) It's a lot of shades. Oh, my God. And the hashtags are getting really tired. Like, we don't need the hashtags. I'm really tired of the hashtags. Use your words. All right. So it's the next day now after the after party. And everybody wants to know who got to talk to the new girl. What's going on here? Everybody's drooling over the fresh meat Miranda. Yeah. (laughs) And (laughs) Miranda messages Antonio. Because she said he was cute, too. And she's making breakfast, and she wants to be a little bit fancy. And she, he said he's a chef. He's always like, what should I make? Vote. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, she asked him how to poach an egg, and he does not know how to poach an egg. He says, you should just scramble it. Scramble it. <laughs> just Dude, crack it up and cook it and, and eat it. Yeah. So that wasn't very fun at all. That is not in the professional basketball player diet. No. Sorry. All right. Well, not in European basketball, anyway. She um, <laughs> asked him, nonetheless, "Would you be my number one guy?" And he was like, "Okay, <laughs> I got her right yeah. where I want her." Yeah, <laughs> I think he did say that. I'm pretty sure he did because he right. always says that about everyone. Yeah. Oh, I was I was predicting this. <laughs> All right. So Chris messages Joey. I've been I've been waiting for this. So these two are just polar opposites. I feel like one is so much fun, mm-hmm. Chris. and the other is so loud He's and a so bright. Loud. <laughs> oh my God! I just can't take Joey. I'm just praying for him to be next uh, blocked because I just cannot. Is this? what i'm like when granny says i'm too loud no okay (laughs) no because if so i need to change something no so they had a little bit of a flirty king queen bromance i felt like chris was on here was flirting with joey and maybe joey wasn't picking up on it it was i don't know no (laughs) (laughs) i don't know what to make of these two there's a lot of flirting on this show i just hope joey gets blocked soon because i can't I, the a, jumping around with the, with his underwear hanging out of the top of his pants, no shirt, yelling at the uh, TV screen. It's just too much. It, it's, Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you know whose flirt dance is continuing? Rebecca and Shuby. Oh, Shuby. He gets so excited when he gets a message from Seaburn. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> so then um mama's boys hashtag mama's boys that is mercedes starting a chat with shuby and chris yeah i guess she wants to pull these two in because i guess she feels like she can control them yeah she's got something good going with them they're all about it yeah so they're into it they're talking about miranda you gotta Did be you careful. Talk to her. Yeah. What's the deal? So she was giving them some info, like, yeah, I chatted with her. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you gotta be careful with uh, Miranda. Yeah, she's Chris new. is very skeptical about Miranda, mm-hmm. so as he should be. He's telling her tread lightly here because we don't know mm-hmm. what this girl's deal is. Yeah. So <laughs> Miranda um, start has a girl chat. Without Mercedes, because yeah. she already talked to Mercedes. Yeah. So Sammy so was like, Sammy was like, why is Mercedes not in here? This is weird. Mm-hmm. I can't remember. Did she say it's because I already, yeah, she said I because they, I already yeah. spoke to her. Yeah. And, uh. Who else did you talk to? Yeah. 
<laughs> well, this is where uh, Rebecca comes out as bi. Now, I don't know if Seaburn is actually bi or if he's just saying Rebecca is in this game or what. My thoughts on this is that he's making Rebecca bi because he's a guy. And he wants to cover his ass. Yeah. So he wants to have... In case he slips up or something. Exactly. He wants to have both male and feminine in there so that in case he starts thinking like a guy, he can be like, okay, so like that was my guy side, my bi side coming out. Or, I don't know. I I think he was also, you know, he wants to... He seemed to, not very convicted about the whole bi thing It either. was kind of like a weird afterthought. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, maybe he is bi. We don't know that. No, I don't know. But I'm. Th- that's what I'm thinking his uh, reasoning was why he all of a sudden he's bi. Yeah, well, it got a little dicey because Miranda revealed that she's mostly into guys. Right. But she... That was a turnoff for Sammy. She likes a pretty girl every once in a while or something. And Sammy was like, well, that's not cool because you're, like, asking us if we're into girls and you're just going to, like, use someone yeah. and not take their feelings into account. Yeah. So she was pretty upset about that. Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> Time for ratings. Alert, alert, alert. <laughs> Miranda cannot vote or uh, cannot rate or be rated. Right. As that's, a newbie. That's pretty uh, standard stuff there because obviously everybody would want to vote her out. Because they don't know her. Immediate, yeah, they don't know her and they want to stay true to the group that mm-hmm. they've already started with. So, okay. Yeah. So We'll get to the ratings in a little bit. Yeah. Shuby and Joey continue their bromance. No! <laughs> I would die for you. Yeah, what? <laughs> I can't believe Joey's saying that. What is this, inside out? This is my boy. Yeah. I would die for Riley. <laughs> <laughs> but that led to a very, very fun game mm-hmm. called Ask Me Anything. Whoa. And this was all done uh, anonymously. That was the best part. I like that it was anonymous. Yeah. So everybody got a turn to secretly ask someone a question. Mm-hmm. So Rebecca, a.k.a. Seaburn, asked Mercedes... Who here is a catfish? (laughs) So it's kind of awkward because, like, I'm sure you got people in mind, but you don't want to call somebody out in front of everyone, or do you? Exactly, because the person answering is not anonymous. I feel like um, I've noticed Seaburn do this a few times already. Whenever you start asking, ooh, who do you think is a catfish? or like you that's the catfish. You're probably a catfish. Absolutely. (laughs) So um, Mercedes said... That they thought everyone was a catfish, which is such a um, cop out. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So Miranda freaking calls out Sammy. She's trying to like flirt with Sammy because she's trying to be like, oh, she's so perfect. She can't be real. Uh, Sammy did not take it that way. She was not happy about I w- that. I don't know who would take it that way. This is way. a game for $100,000. Yeah. So nobody really stood up for Sammy. No. And said, hey, she's real, or, you know, she's not a catfish. Or... Yeah. But Antonio calls out Joey as a catfish. These two have not gotten along together very well at all. No. All right, so... Um, These two are at each other's throats. <laughs> they have not been getting along at all. And didn't Shabam step up and say, like, no, this person is true? Yeah, he, <laughs> he stood up for Joey. Right. Because they're in a bromance together. Mm-hmm. So, um... Then, <laughs> I, yes. So then, uh, Antonio told his basketball story. I don't well, know what the point of that was. Well, because then they were accusing him of being catfish, and they were asking him about alliances and stuff. So he's like, oh, "I'm not a catfish." What does that freaking basketball story prove? So I went to this so high school, general. and blah blah blah. I live here. Who? Wh- you could have had your matter? story set before you came in the house. You know, it doesn't even matter if you had something set. You could have made that up on the spot. It's not like they can fact check it. Yeah, really. Circle. Check what school Antonio went to. It's not like he's some celebrity that everybody knows his right. stats and they can just be like, that's not him. Right. <laughs> so I thought that was a little bit weird. Yeah. So then Shuby later messages Sammy and is like, you know what? I'm sorry nobody stood up for you before. That was really crappy. Somebody yeah. really should have stood up for you. And this led to a really great discussion between the two of them. They both really opened up to each other, talking about what it's like to be, 
you know, a loner of sorts mm-hmm. and like you don't really fit in with everybody. Future lions? Possibly I, I you. I could be into that. Yeah. Yeah, I oh my god, I love Shabam so much. Anybody that Shuby is hooked up with except Joey. <laughs> All right, so then it was time for the new ratings to come out, and boy, were there some real flip flops here. I called this uh, Antonio. Antonio was at the bottom. Ooh, yeah, Ouch. that catfish thing really hurt him. Yeah, it did. Sammy, who was at the top last time, is also at the bottom. She's mm-hmm. tied for fifth with Joey, and then blah, 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 blah. the top two. I believe this was also, also a tie. tie. Chris and Shuby, one of my favorite oh, alliances. Love it. I'd love to see it. So they are the influencers this week, and Miranda uh, is safe. Mm-hmm. So that is episode number three. And here we are. Episode, episode four. four. <laughs> Did you ever think we'd make it? No. <laughs> All right. So. <clears throat> okay, so um, yeah, Shuby and Chris are the two influencers for this round. And they showed them in the separate room yeah. through the windows. I wonder how much of the outside of that building is actually like real that they're in those rooms that they're showing. What do you mean? With that big circle on the building, is everybody like who drives by like, hey, what's that circle building? Maybe I don't know. I mean, it might not be a problem for this season because a lot of people didn't know about the circle mm-hmm. before. But like now, are people like, "Hey, what's that circle building?" Maybe if they do subsequent like. I mean, that's seasons. not that unusual though. Like, it's not that crazy compared to some other buildings. I mean, what if you got people who watch the show coming by, like yelling stuff at the? No, but then it's they, not in real time. Yeah, so it it's not really like matter. Big Brother where you're yelling over the wall. <laughs> right. <laughs> but anyway. Um, This is interesting because they have a little bit more information to work off Mm -hmm. of now and try and decide who they want to get rid of. Yeah. So I guess Sammy's name came up because of the possible catfish situation. Mm -hmm. But uh, Antonia's name also came up. Right. But he's in hot water right now. Yeah. Shuby really likes Sammy. Yeah. They really opened up to each other in their one on one chat. I don't think anybody likes Antonio really. I, but he had everyone where they where he wanted them. Did he? <laughs> <laughs> Did he? Or so he thought. Yeah. Everybody else is chatting, of course, while these two are doing their thing. Mm-hmm. And Rebecca is looking for sympathy. I'm so scared. <laughs> I have to act like a girl. I've got the vipers over here. Yeah. I, sometimes it's a little bit much. I think it's... What? Um, Seaburn. I love Seaburn. It's never no, too much. No, but I mean, I think his, uh, oh, his portrayal. feminization is a little bit too much. Like, this girl is, like, a little bit too much. Well, he's trying to play it like she's a sweetie, you know, she's, like, girl I know, next door. But sometimes when girls are too sweet, <laughs> like, they're too neurotic and, like, it's just, it's too much and people don't want that around them. I don't know. All right. Well, who's blocked? it's Antonio. Guess he was right where he wanted to be. Oof. So, yeah. um, He gets gets to meet uh, with one person. Yep. And who does he choose? Mercedes. Mercedes. Oh, my God. So he's going to see that Mercedes is a cat. So he walks in and he's like, oh, what? Yeah. You're not Mercedes. (laughs) Nope. Hello. I'm Karen. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and he's like, "Why are you catfishing?" This made me so sad. She said, "Because nobody would want to talk to me looking like this." That is so sad. It is sad. I hope that everybody who's playing this and watching this even is learning. Like, don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, it's absolutely an old saying, but it's true. It still rings. It's an true. oldie but a goodie. Yes. You can thank your grandmother for that one. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, Mercedes asks, or Karen asks, uh, Antonio, what would you change if you could do it all over again? And he said he wouldn't change Nothing. a thing. <laughs> I think that's a stupid answer. Maybe don't get um, voted out second. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and he said that he learned not to judge a book by its cover. That's good. But did he say that because he got got? Or did he say that because he actually learned something? I don't know. 
I think he learned something. He's a smart guy. Uh, All right. right. Well, the next day. It's time for the old video message from Ooh, Antonio. And he decided to stir Spice things up. up a little bit, which is exciting. Now, before we were discussing what people are allowed to say when right. they're blocked, and he kind of made it a little more interesting than Alana's goodbye message. He said that he met with someone and they are not what they seem. Now, of course, you got to take that with a grain of salt because... It's somebody who's going out of the game. They could just be trying to set someone up. They could be messing with your head. But he's for real. Yeah. So he didn't say who it was, but you know everybody's going to be asking around like, oh, who did Antonio stop and visit? Exactly. So... So Karen is immediately, Karen oh, Mercedes shit. is like, hey, he didn't visit me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was putting in some work. Yeah, she put in the work, but Shuby and Joey had a little uh, quick chat. They're that, a little bit shook right now that a guy went home. Yes. So they're like, should we work together with Chris? Like, what do we do? Let's start the uh, dicks before the dicks over chicks alliances. Alliance. Only uh, one alliance. So they said, yeah, I would die for you. Okay. (laughs) But, like, are they always going to bring in a guy for a guy and a girl for a girl? That I don't know. I guess they probably didn't know that going in. Yeah. All right. So they add Chris to the chat. They're like, hey, you want to work with us? And Chris is like, yes. This is like Destiny's child. He said he's Beyonce. Of course he is. (laughs) Duh. (laughs) But still, we love Kelly and Michelle. Love them. I'm not even sure the other two are Kelly and Michelle. I mean, in real life. Yeah. No, but you know what I mean? Yeah. So, Sammy and Mercedes have a little chat. Mm -hmm. They had that issue. There's some tension between the two of them. Because before, Antonio told Mercedes, like, you could have been going because Sammy wanted you to go. But, like, Mm -hmm. I am the reason that you're still here. Right. So, there's a little bit of awkwardness between the two of them. But I come in peace. Hashtag, I come in peace. Yeah. All right. So, Mercedes starts putting in the work. Yeah. She is lying to Sammy. Oh, I'm so upset that Antonio didn't come to see me because we talked like every day. Oh, boy. Uh So right away she's getting right. That would be a red flag to me for somebody to start off with that. Yeah. Well, didn't Sammy say like, hmm, this could be. Little sus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Miranda and Joey, it's her turn to be uh, pursued by Joey. (laughs) They have a super flirty chat. Oh, boy. They discuss Sammy being a catfish. And they told her, uh, Miranda told uh, Joey Oh, about, she did open up to Joey a lot because they were talking yeah. about family. Right. Yeah, because uh, she said, I noticed you have, like, a lot of pictures. Of you. Well, you have one picture of your family. <laughs> right. <laughs> and isn't that nice? I, um, She's family like, I wish is I was everything. Close to my family. Yeah, he said, wait, you're not close to your family? And then she told her uh, foster care story. Yeah. And he cried a little. Did he cry? He teared up. Okay. But that only made him want to stalk her even more. No, I'm glad that she was able to open up about that. Yeah. And talk to somebody about it. Even if it was Joey. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> so I, they I are. I really hope Joey's playing a character. I hope so. They are bonded now because she shared that personal right. story. Time for a game. Ooh. An activity game. Fun. So it's called Nailed It Slash Failed It. Isn't that another Netflix show? Nailed It, yeah. Yeah. It is. Good on you, Netflix. <laughs> I, I actually really like that show. I haven't seen it yet. I've seen a couple episodes and it's fun. All right. So a box arrives outside the door. Ooh. And inside is a fake cake with real cakes. And all the materials for these chuckleheads to try and match a picture they have to duplicate it. of this fancy cake that they received. So they got to uh, shape the fondant. They have to do some piping. Mm-hmm. They have to, you know. They There's a lot of work going their, into this cake. They got to do their best. And freaking Joey is icing the cake with his hands. Oh, it's like he was putting on another face mask. It was everywhere. Everywhere. But the worst part was that all the icing started mixing together. So it looked like he was icing the cake with shit. Puke. Ew. 
somebody ate shit and then puked it up. <laughs> Ew! Okay, but seriously, like, I hope he's playing a character because if you make that much of a mess for real, no. That I, that seems like you're a disgusting person. Then He had to like, have been playing He had to have been playing right? a character. Yeah. yeah. He's probably like, I know this is not going to be good, so I'm going to make it hilarious. Yeah. So, I don't know. like, Miranda... Hers was not great. There were a couple that were like decent, considering they only had but half an hour. But she still won. She yeah, you only have half an hour, so like she did okay. Yeah, so Miranda got the most likes, which means she wins a prize. She gets to add a video to her profile. So now, she picked this weird ass boomerang. Well, yeah, when they said video, I thought it meant they would be able to pick like an actual video. Actually, I wasn't sure how they were going to well, pull that this is off a video. because yeah, but a boomerang is like not the same thing all right but how would they have pulled it off i guess if you were a catfish you could have had a video you would you would have of somebody else had to have uh stuff ready and the show knowing what they're looking True. for They'd be like, would have been this, like you this, need this yeah yeah absolutely so she put up her weird wiggle <laughs> boomerang <laughs> i think it weirded a lot of people out it was not flattering it was weird <laughs> all right so Miranda and Sammy. Miranda's um, trying to apologize to Sammy about the whole catfish thing. It didn't seem like she was really trying to apologize, though. Again, I don't it, know. Uh, when you just talk through words on a, on a screen, it just does not come across the same way. And Miranda thought that she was being, um, like, playful. or mm-hmm. And Sammy was just, like, this <laughs> is kind of, like, aggressive, yeah. you know. So... Let's both of us flirt with Joey, though. No. That's, that's, you know, no no problem there because he's guaranteed to flirt with everybody, so. True. Even Chris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Chris and Mercedes have a chat, and they're talking about uh, the Antonio catfish uh, debacle, you mm-hmm. know, where he's like, Somebody's not what they seem, but I don't know how to poach an egg. So again, Mercedes is like, uh, yeah, he didn't come to see me. Sucks, Guess right? what? Joey's a catfish. Bye. Thanks. Ah! I'm leaving the chat. Yeah. <laughs> so. Just trying to get the target on somebody else. Yeah. The end of this episode, we find out that there oh is God. a fresh meat in town. Mm-hmm. And they, Somebody new coming to the circle. A boy. Mm-hmm. A man. 32 year old man boy with um he had an interesting outfit on he's definitely a quirky character he is definitely quirky uh he's 32 years old and when they said he was married to i almost a woman lost my shit yeah because i my gaydar's broken i gotta go call i feel up like rebecca man. right now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god so he's married with two cats and he will be playing as a hot, sexy guy named Adam. I will be playing the role of Catfish Adam. I was hoping he would be playing as himself. I know. Because I think he's so quirky and so adorable. He would be fun. That, yeah, I think a lot of uh, people would actually um, appreciate that and identify with that. But maybe that quirkiness... They would think that he's a catfish. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, right? <laughs> I don't know. This but guy's I'm, too quirky. I'm really looking forward to next week because I want to see more of Alex because mm-hmm. he he looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, and it should be fun. He looks like he is Chris level of like quirky, uh, you know, phrases. and Yeah. 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 So, yeah, that's the fourth episode. We made it! So let us know what you guys thought. Congratulations if you made it this far. Yeah. You you deserve a prize. What do you think of The Circle? Are you loving it? Did you watch the UK one? What's the deal? Should we watch the UK one if you did? and We we, will, eventually. I know. (laughs) (laughs) I want want them to tell us to do it. Oh, okay. (laughs) All right. So um, we'll see you next week. And thanks if you made it this far. We love you. And until next time, much much love. love.